Good afternoon. Glad you could join us again this week as we dive into God's Word. You know, I want to start off uh, tonight by telling you a story uh, about milk uh, and me in college. Uh, and <laughs> it was a good time. So me and Caleb, we lived together in college, and we never liked to pay for milk. We were, we were milk guys. We drank a lot of milk, and uh, we never liked to pay for gallons of milk. So what we did was we, we decided one day, we were like, we're going to drink this gallon of milk. Once we finish it, we're going to save the jug. Okay, and we had devised this plan. We used to eat at Upstairs Pal at Eastern, and uh, you'd go in. It's kind of like a buffet, and they had this machine where you could take a glass and you could put it under it, and it would put out milk, kind of like a pop machine or something. And so we we come up with this plan. We're going to take a empty milk jug, put it down in a backpack, wear it in to the the dining hall, and we're going to go one by one and get cups of milk out of this milk machine and pour them into that jug in that bag and that's how we're going to fill up our milk and we did it we did it the rest of the year and uh, we always had plenty of milk we never had to waste money on buying milk again we got it in our dining plan so um, that was that was just a it was a good time I always enjoy looking back on those memories and you know we were big milk guys and you know I still am today uh, especially chocolate milk chocolate milk is one of my favorites Um, but you know we, we tend to associate milk with babies okay milk and babies they go together just like peanut butter and jelly they go together Um, and you see babies are not fully developed yet whenever a baby is born it's not ready for solid food it's not ready for for heavy food you know you don't you don't give a baby a t-bone as soon as it comes out of the womb but um, milk is a lot easier on the baby to digest it can digest it easier it's not hard on it uh, and it can get its nutrients there once we become older though as that baby starts to grow up uh, we become slowly weaned off the milk. We crave more, uh, more solid foods, more wholesome foods than just milk. And that's, uh, you know, that's something that we all go through. And you know, we go from milk to where now we're eating solid foods. We're wanting good stuff, uh, in my opinion, the meat and potatoes, like I would say. Um, but you know, this this growth also applies to our walk with Christ um, as Christians. And you know, as Christians. We all have some. We all have a starting point. Some people become a Christian whenever they're they're nine. Some people become a Christian whenever they're sixty-five. Who knows? You know, people become Christians at different points in their lives. But whenever we first become a Christian, we are babes in Christ. We are babies. Um, and you know what babies need? We need milk. Uh, we need simple, easy to understand truths about God's word. Take for instance. Here's a here's a really easy one. Understanding what's holy, what's good, and what's pure. And understanding what's bad sinful and ugly that's a really simple concept from god's word to understand and that's what we need Uh, as we learn these things though and as we get these things as babies we begin to grow just like babies do we get stronger and bigger and as we continue to grow we crave more and more food until eventually we want more than just milk okay we need real food we need the meat and potatoes the heavy stuff is what we want and it's the same way with our walk with Christ. You know, eventually we're going to need more and more of this book, Scripture. We're going to need more and more of it as we get older. And the lessons that we learn need to be heavier, deeper, and more complex for us because now we can understand. Eventually we get to the point where we don't even want milk anymore. And now we just eat some solid, real food with a little bit of milk here and there. Maybe as a glass before bedtime or something like that. Uh, but that's whenever we know that we are fully grown. And same concept with our Christian walk. But here's the problem with, with some of our, our walks with Christ, okay? Sometimes Christians don't always fully wean off milk, okay? Sometimes people will, will never wean off the milk. They'll always want to be that baby in Christ that never grows and that never matures. Uh, some people will, will start to mature and wean off of it, but then they go right back to it, right back to that milk because it's comfortable and it's easy, uh, and then we have some other people who completely wean off the milk and eat real food, but then over time they go right back to that milk, and that's disappointing. You know, this is not what God wants. God lays out a specific plan for us, and He wants us to go from milk to real food. And we find this in Scripture. I'm going to read that for us here. I've got Hebrews chapter 5, verses 11 through 14. I'm going to read that for us. It says, We have much to say about this, but it is hard to make it clear to you because you no longer try to understand. In fact, though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you the elementary truths of God's Word all over again. You need milk, not solid food. 
Anyone who lives on milk, still being an infant, is not acquainted with the teaching about righteousness. But solid food is for the mature, who by constant use have trained themselves to distinguish good from evil. The author of this scripture here severely warns us that we need to wean off spiritual milk and continue to grow in Christ. And I'm afraid that today a lot of times people can be babies in Christ and they can stay babies in Christ. They don't feel the need to get off that milk. They don't feel the need to get out of that comfort zone because it's easy and it's comfortable. These Christians will come to church on Sunday to get their bottle, to get their milk, uh, and then that's it. That's all that they have. And then they'll wait again until the next Sunday. And they come and they get their bottle again and their milk again from Brother Joe or whoever's speaking. They get their milk and, and that's it. They leave. Um, and it's really sad. With me especially talking to a younger Christian audience, which I hope, that's, I hope that's who's tuning in tonight and listening, I need you to know that this is not what we're supposed to be. Sure, at first, absolutely, you need that milk. You need, you need to learn and grow and, and, and the simple things. But eventually you got to go to solid food. you got to put on your big boy pants and, and get out of the milk stage and start to crave some solid food. And in order to do this, it's real simple. In order to do this, we've got to do stuff outside of these doors. Okay. Too often times, babies in Christ will come here to get their bottle. Like I said, they walk through those doors, and that's it. That's why they stay babies, because they don't grow. They don't put in any extra effort. They don't work outside of church. we got to be praying daily. We've got to be reading God's Word. We've got to be living God's Word. And we've got to be trying to apply that to our lives every day so that we can not be babies the rest of our life in Christ. This is how we grow. And this is how eventually we become get to the point where we eat solid food and we become uh, full-grown Christians that is following God to the absolute best of their abilities. And that's where we need to be. That's where Jesus wants us to be. The bottom line is this. The simple truths of God's words are wonderful, easy, and comfortable. They are good and we love them. But we must deepen our understanding and deepen our appetite for God. We can't stay on the milk forever. Eventually, we've got to grow up and start eating the solid foods to really dig into Scripture and really learn, what does God want from me? What does God want me to do in this life? Those are things we need to work towards, and those are things that we need to always be trying to be better about. Let's pray tonight. Lord, I thank you again for Scripture. Thank you again for the, the camera system we have set up where we can still continue to meet God and we can still continue to study your Word. What a blessing that is, Father. We thank you so very much. Lord, I just pray from this passage of Scripture that you'd help us to realize, Lord, that you know, at some point we're all going to be babies in Christ. We need that spiritual milk. We need stuff, stuff that's easy to digest. But God, I just I pray that you'd help us to realize that eventually we've got to grow and we've got to crave more and more and more. We've got to crave solid food, God. And I just pray that you'd help us to realize that, Lord. Help us to realize that we need to continue to grow. We need to continue to mature in you because that's what you want from us, Lord. And I just pray that you'd help us to do that, Lord. Help us to, to not be Christians on just Sunday morning, but to be Christians on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all the days of the week, Father. Help us to take your word out of those doors and to uh, imitate Christ in everything we say and do, Father, because the world's watching us, Lord. And I just pray that... Uh, uh, I just pray that they would see Jesus in each of us. Lord, we thank you so much for, for our, our health and our safety, Lord. I just pray that you would keep it that way, Lord. Please protect us and, and bless us and keep us healthy in this season uh, of sickness, Father. Lord, we love you. We thank you for Jesus Christ and how he died for us on that cross. It's all this I ask in your name. Amen.